So I was thinking, I know it happens once in a while, about this here boat. And I recently took it on its first real voyage and a couple things happened that I can improve on. One is I massively overloaded it, like way more weight than I was, you know, originally intending to put in the boat. But that's how much stuff was there and I have to presume this is gonna happen again. So this is one of the things that would be nice to fix is more buoyant. And then the other thing, I just haven't addressed it yet, which is that the solar panels are a little bit too low voltage to charge the battery, like directly effectively. I mean, it charges them most of the way, but it's, it, it won't charge them all the way. And it kind of does it slower. Uh, bottom line is, higher voltage solar panel would, would be better, or something. I mean, there's there's various different solutions to this. But I, I, I have an idea that will solve both of those things. And it's really easy to say, and not that easy to do. Oh, let me just... All right, let me just barf it out. Cut the boat in half extend it like four or five feet like a meter and a half and put an extra solar panel in the front and the, the extra solar panel in the front would be one of the glass ones I have which are heavier but I could just do one um, and I would put one on that has a high enough voltage to charge the batteries and then I'd use all these four existing solar panels to direct power the motor and then the one in the front to charge the batteries and then the extra length in the boat would make it more buoyant for more passengers, more weight and whatever. And the, the solar panel with the higher voltage would charge the battery. Oh, it's going to be a big chore if I do that. I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking about it though. It really would make the boat pretty awesome. So if I cut it, you know, right about here, then I could get some sheet something and, you know, just match it right to the hull after this is spread out and then put the fiberglass in. It wouldn't really be that hard to do. It's just I have to take the whole boat out of the water and kind of dismantle everything to make it light enough to do that. And whew, The actual doing of it wouldn't be that hard. I should, oh, think I have to do it. And that would basically double the amount of passenger space up here. Oh. And then this solar panel would come up to here. It'd be a really long boat then, but That'd whatever. Cool. I could just slap an extra solar panel on here and it'd come up like to right up to the front of the boat. There. But that that no, I don't want to do that. I definitely need to add some length. And if I add length, it's not really gonna add much, you know, water resistance to the boat movies. Look at these bottles! God, what is this? This is not from us. This is just People of the world, stop throwing your bottles in the water. Seriously. Hmm. I guess I haven't cleaned up my boat making mess yet. Oh, that would have been so much easier to do at the beginning. Of course, I didn't know what I know now at the beginning. All right. I'm not doing it today or anything, but I think one of these days coming coming up, I'm just going to yank the boat out of the water and cut it in half. <laughs> Need to get some fiberglass. I'm going to think about that for a few more days. There, there may be a, a better idea I just didn't think of yet. All right, I'm going to go back to working on this car. More buoyant and longer, so I can put an extra solar panel on it, and so it can hold a lot more cargo space and have more passengers. And, This old boat over here is like exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I'm going to have to entertain this notion now. All right, let's think about it. What if I took the motor, the solar panels and all that stuff, and put it on this boat? It, uh, it would have plenty of room and buoyancy to put another extra couple of solar panels. <sighs> no problem. And well, what I was thinking about doing with this boat anyway was, uh, okay, so these are the same hull shape as my pedal boat, my, my old pedal boat, which is amazing. It's been super reliable. We use it all the time. Uh, the pedal boat just has shorter ones, but this, this is longer pontoons. So I could conceivably, let's see, I could take the top off here, take the top off here, 
I can put a pedal station here, one there, and two on the other side. There could be four pedal spots. <gasps> so the reason I was thinking about making this huge pedal boat is also the reason that I, I want to have more cargo space, or one of the reasons I want to have more cargo space in the electric solar boat is because I have some more friends here now. Like some people came down and they're cool and they're staying. They've been here for a few months already and they're, they're not leaving. So, you know, I designed this, I designed this boat when I'd been going on all these solo trips. I had no one to go with me, but now I have someone to go with me. I actually have a couple people to go with me. So, it would be nice to have a little, like, more space. And this boat wouldn't go to waste or anything, for sure. I, I'd probably just uh, turn it into just a pedal boat if I took all that stuff off. Or maybe I'd put another motor. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I would definitely get, get use out of it still. But okay. Let's just say hypothetically. I take all the stuff, put it on there. I put four pedal stations. And I'd probably just do like paddle wheels in the middle. Kind of like on my old pedal boat. Because those are so reliable. It's just, you know, a thing of pedals, a stick across, and pedals, and paddles attached. There's like hardly anything that can go wrong with it. So what would I have to do to do that? Uh, flip the boat over, get all these barnacles off, maybe, I don't know, basically re-everything re the bottom of the boat, which really isn't very hard. It's just scrape those off, maybe put some resin on there and re-sand it. Just make sure it's all smooth on the bottom. And then, you know, cut out the pedal stations, make the pedals, put, a, put the roof on here and I already have roof stuff for this boat it's like over there on the island because this used to be a solar boat <clears throat> I, geez, I might have to do that then I would just make this my going to town boat and yeah I could handle a lot more a lot more cargo and we could all go you know I wouldn't even need to flip this over to to get to the bottoms because it's a catamaran I just need to lift up one side and do take care of that side then go lift up the other side and take care of that side there's not much to do basically scrape off the stuff and a bit of sanding maybe put roll a bit of resin on it but 